Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kendra here and I'm here for part three of my Becoming a Blogger series. So I did two videos before this. This is part three and in the first video I gave you some prerequisite type stuff that you should be doing before you're even applying for a blogger position. And then my second video I did was actually the application process for becoming a blogger. Now we're in part three. So if you have not seen part one and part two, I would suggest you go watch those two videos before you watch this one so that you can get the full picture and all the information on how to become a blogger in Second Life. I will link both of those videos down below in the description as well as put both of them in a playlist here up in the top right hand corner of the screen so you can go easily check those two videos out. All right, so you finally got a store to sponsor you. And by sponsor, I mean they have hired you as one of their bloggers. And you're ready to put out your first blog. So today we are going to go through that whole process. Now, like I said in previous videos, this is how I do things. This may not be how everybody does things. And it's a system that works for me. You can take my what I do and tweak it to make it work for you. So let's get started. So I'm going to walk you through creating a blog post strictly just with Blogotex. Basically, if you become a blogger through a group, the only difference is that you may be grabbing your items from group notices in the in-world group, or you might be going to a blogger gallery. And all of that information will be provided to you by the blogger manager of whatever store that you are blogging for. Now we're going to go into my Blogotex and today I created a post for the store six and six is a clothing store. We are in our Blogotex and when you click on your active um, brands list, this list will show all of the, all of the stores that you are a blogger for. All right. I'm on the dashboard for Six and Skittish. They're two different stores in Second Life, and but they share the same Blogotex. Some stores will do that. They will share a Blogotex with another store. Might be a friend of theirs. They might have they might have two different types of brands, so they have two different stores, but it's the same designer. That really doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to walk you through the dashboard first. And in the dashboard, there's a lot of information. First of all, in the, right here is the announcements tab. In here, I don't have any messages. Once I read a message and I follow whatever instructions there might be, I delete the message so that I know that I've read that message and that I've followed all the directions in the message. This is how the brand will communicate with its bloggers. So if they have information about a specific product that they're blogging, they want you to blog, or just a change to rules for the um, brand and the blogging of their brand, uh, some reminders they sometimes will give you in these announcements. So this is an important spot on your dashboard to pay attention to. All right. Also, there is a chat. And in the chat, this is where you can have a back and forth conversation with other bloggers in the group or the designer or the blogger manager. And a lot of times you can um, you can ask questions, you can request information, you can re request all sorts of stuff from that chat. So also down here in the posting deadlines, you will have deadlines for your blog posts and those deadlines are usually set up in the rules. All right, we'll go to that in a second. But in your posting deadlines, it will 
it, this is how you can see what you still have to do and how long you have until your deadline is up. So for example, I pulled out the Betty Lou suit out of the blog text to blog. Most stores give you between seven and 10 days to blog that item after you take it. All right. After, so that deadline will show up here. Blogotex automatically sets that up for you. And they'll also give you an in-world notification that that is your deadline. Also, you have a blog post deadline, which means this is how many days you have to before to submit any blog post it doesn't matter what item but you for this store you i have 10 days to submit a blog post if you don't meet these deadlines blogotex could possibly kick you out of the group and then you have to go to the designer or the blogger manager and find them and explain why you didn't meet the deadline and hopefully you can get re-added into their blogger group so some stores are very strict about their um, blog posting. If for some reason you think that you might not be able to meet the deadlines, this is called a request vacation. Basically, you can request a time that you will not be able to blog this product. For example, in August, I'm gonna be going on a two week vacation and I will not be getting on to Second Life. I'm leaving the 14th, so this is the first day I will not be able to blog any six products. All right, so I click that as my start date, and then I'm going to be, and I'm going to be on vacation until the 28th. So that's the end date of my vacation. So now Blogatex knows that if I do not submit a post within these dates, they will not kick me out. Now you have to get approved for this vacation. It doesn't just automatically approve you. I've never requested a vacation and not gotten approved, um, but it is up to the blogger manager and this, the, the store designer to grant you that um, vacation. So then you just put a message in. I will be on vacation and I will not be able to access second life during this time. Thank you. All right. And I'm going to submit it. So now this little palm tree, it says vacation request sent waiting for approval. Now, once that approval is given, it will show it here in right here next to the palm tree. So then down here at the bottom is your brands list. And then this is where you can filter. OK, I went through all of these up here at the top. These are some important tabs as well. The photo wall, these are just blog posts that have been submitted by other bloggers through Blogotex. And you can submit your, um, your best photo to be part of this best of photo wall, okay? I'm not gonna go into that too much. That's something you can explore on your own, all right? This tab right here, are the rules. Every store has their own rules for blogging. Okay. So if you forget the rules for your specific brand, you can go to the rules tab and be able to access those rules and be, and then there's no excuse why you wouldn't follow them. So then this tab is the products. This is the tab where all the products that you are available for you to blog. Okay, if you notice, some of them are, say, not blogged be the first. This means that this is one of the newer items and nobody has submitted a blog for this item yet. So you could be the first person to blog this item. This is the item that I am blogging today. All right, 
but it says that it's not blogged because I have not submitted my blog. All right, and then this green one says blogged one time. So this is an item I've already submitted a blog for. Now, if you can do multiple blogs for these different items, so then if you submit a second blog for that specific item, it'll say blog two times and so on. And then these other items are other items that I haven't blogged yet. So you get to choose the and pick and choose the items. Most stores would prefer you to choose their um, their more recent items for the reason of most of these items are items that are a part of an event or they are new releases in the store. And because those are um, things that they want to advertise to their customers, they want you to do to blog those items. So I suggest um, most, if you are picking a uh, item for to blog, you pick something up here at the top. These are in order from when they have been placed on the Blogotech system. So these items down here at the bottom are older items, items that have been on the Blogotech system for a while. If a, a store doesn't want you, or they've had enough blog posts, they're okay, they don't need you to advertise that item, they will remove that item from this product's dashboard. So you won't even see the items anymore. But like I said, stores prefer you to blog the more recent items, of course. So, of course, I picked an item that is one of the more recent ones. And now if you click on the photo, it will bring a larger picture of the items and it gives you all the options in their HUD. All right. It gives you an idea of what the item looks like down at the bottom. It will give you the, it gives you information about the item. So usually in this part, they put the bodies that it's for. Okay, it also tells you if it's in a, if this item is part of an event. For example, this bathing suit that we're going to, I blog today, is part of the access event. So you need to put that information into your blog post, and I'll show you that, that later on in the video. All right, and then this button is I it says redeliver because I've already delivered this item because I already wanted this item. All right, so let me click on this dress here. This isn't something that I've I've blogged. Okay? If you if this is something that you want to blog, then you click the deliver button and it will deliver that item to you in world. It will pop up as if like you bought the item. And you can just accept it and it'll go into your inventory. So now you've grabbed, so I've grabbed this bathing suit and I go and I take my photo. All right, so I have taken my photo. So I use Pixlr to edit my photos. For a lot of bloggers use Photoshop. Photoshop is a, a program that you have to pay for. Pixlr is something that's free. I find that this is good enough for me not going to go through the editing process. If you're interested in um, videos on how to edit photos, I can put a few of those down in the description below for you because that's been done many times. You also can search on YouTube for those type videos as well. As well as um, I'll put some I'll put some videos for the actual taking of the photo in Second Life and like settings that I that they use and different tools within the Second Life browser that they use when they're taking photos. So I will put those in the link linked in the description below as well. Okay, so I've taken my photo and this is the photo I used. When I do a photo, I usually put a signature in my photo. This is a stock signature and that I just add to my photos. And now it's time to create the blog post. 
I used Google Docs and I created a a Google Doc of the descriptions of my photos. It's easy. I just have to pop in information. So up at the top of my Google Doc, I have a template. And this is the template that I use for every single one of my blog posts. I have a template for my Flickr and I have a template for my Facebook. And then I have added stuff that I put into my post on my actual blog. And I'll show you that in a second. So what I do is I just copy and paste this down at the bottom of the sheet. As you can see, I've already filled in this information in within the template. All right, so I named my photo and the, the name I gave my photo is Sun Worship. I like to give a descriptive name for my photo. Some people, they just do photo number 643 or photo number 47. That's up to you what you name your photo. So for Flickr, I have credits and then I have find landmarks in my blog. I will put a link to my blog in my Flickr post and I'll show you that in a minute. So I, I'm telling my, the people who are looking at my photo in Flickr that if they want to go purchase this item, I will give you landmarks to the store or the event in my blog so they can click on the link to my blog to go get that information. I Then I put the store and then the name of the item. And then underneath, if there's any special information about the item that you want to leave. Some people in their description of their blog post, they list all the items, the skin, the head, the hair, uh, any accessories that they're wearing, including the item that they're blogging. I personally don't like to do that. And the reason I don't do that is for me, this is an advertisement for a specific brand. I don't want my brand that I'm advertising for to get lost in a jumble of, of items. So I only include the focus item of this photo. For example, in this photo, the focus is the bikini. Sometimes I will do a blog post where I'm blogging two or three items. I will list those two or three items in the blog post. That's my personal preference. I don't know if designers prefer that or don't prefer that, but that's how I do things. These, this is like the coding to put a link into a Flickr post, all right? If you search in Google um, how to make a link in a, the description of a Flickr post, it will give you the, the coding so that you can put a link into your description, all right? Also, under this, I have tags. When in a tag, in a Flickr post, and I'll show you this in a little bit, you put, you tag your photo so that if somebody search for, searches for a tag, your photo will pop up on their screen. And then I also have a template for my Facebook. Again, find landmarks in my blog, the item, the event, and all that information is here. Also, in Facebook, you just can put a link in. There's no type of coding to make a link. All right. And then at the bottom, this part is strictly for my actual Wix.com blog. All right. So I've set up my template and I'm ready to actually go and create my blog. So I go to the Wix site and I create a blog post. So first of all, I put the title of the blog post up at the top and then I added my photo. All right. And then under that, you can see I copied and pasted the information. So in my blog post, I like to have the name of the store as a link to a slurl for their main store. So what I do is I just highlight the um, store and then I create, I make, I turn it into a link and then I put the slurl in the link so that when they click on the 
the name of the store, they can teleport right to the store. I also do that with if the item is in an event. I also do that with the name of the event. And for example, this is at the access event. So I also included the cam sim slurl. Now I create another Google Doc with important information for my blog. So each of the brands, I have the important information listed. I have links to their store. I have a link to their Flickr. I have a link to their Facebook if they have a Facebook account and I also have a link to their marketplace because I like to add as much information about my brand into my blog post as possible. I put the links in to the blog post to the item then I put a picture of the logo of the store and then underneath I put all of those links to the main store to their Flickr to their Facebook and to their marketplace. Under that I have links to my own information. I want to use this as an advertisement for myself, just a small advertisement, nothing too big. So I put a link to my Flickr account, a link to my Facebook account, and then a link to my YouTube. These are things that I would love for people to visit if they're viewing my blog. All right, and then I just put a thank you to all of my sponsors at the bottom. So after that's all done, I go and I create a category and this that my categories I have categories for all the different stores so I find the category I already have put it into a category so I have found six and I just check that off now that this blog post will be added to my six page on my blog and then I click publish and then when we go to my blog you can see that my post is there. If I just click on it, then you can see my actual blog post, how it appears on my blog. Okay, as you can see, all of the information, all of the links are there and people can click on them to access this item and this store. So next thing I do is I go and I create my Flickr post. All right, so when you create your Flickr post, there is this little cloud with an arrow in it. You just click on that and then you can choose, choose a photo and video to upload. When you click on that, it brings you to your photos. So you just click on the item that you want. All right, so this is the sun worship. I've already done all of this, but I'm just showing you for the blog post. All right, the name of the photo will be the title of your, your blog or your post in Flickr. So if you, if you want to change the name of your post, you can just click on it and then retype. I always just name my photo what I want the title of the the post to be just easier because then it's already done for me. Then you add your description. So then I go over here to my template and I have my for Facebook and then I have my for Flickr. So then I highlight all this tags I'll get to in a second. So you don't want to add that to your description. All right. And I just copy and then I go into the description and I paste. Okay, so down the, the left hand side of the screen, you'll see the all the information that you put in your description. So then I click upload and then that I would upload that photo to Flickr. Once you click upload one photo or however many photos you're uploading, it will add it to your stream in on your personal Flickr. All right, so as you can see, here it is. Then this is what the description looks like in my, actually on my Flickr. If you notice, now these, that gobbledygook is now, are now links to my blog, my Facebook, and my YouTube. After I have posted to Flickr, I 
then go and I tag people in the photo. All right. I always tag myself. And then I also tag either the designer themselves or the blogger manager or both. It depends. A lot of times in the rules on Blogotex, they will tell you who they would like you to tag in your photo. And then also down here are tags. Now, if you click on a tag, it will bring you to every photo that has that tag. You can add as many tags as you want. The one thing you need to make sure you know is if you put a, sp a space in between the word, it is going to create a separate tag. If I do second and then I do space, and then I do life, you notice it's two different tags, okay? And then if you accidentally do that, there's a pop, an X will pop up and you can just delete them. On my template, this is my list of tags that go on every single one of my photos. Then what I do is I go in and I add some ac ex extra ones. So I add the name of the event as a tag and I add the name of the store as a tag. I'm going to add a tag and I'm going to do access event. Notice I didn't put the space in between and then I click enter and it's its own tag. The last thing I do is I add my photos to groups. Now I do most of my advertisement of my blog post in Flickr. The reason I do that is because Flickr is where everybody in Second Life goes to look at photos. If you notice, this photo is in 428 groups. All right, I have joined four, at least 428. I've probably joined up over 500 or 600 groups. And this way I can add my photo to all of these groups. If I want to add my photo to a group, I just click add to group. And then a list of all the groups that you belong to comes up on the screen. Okay, the blue checks means that my photo has been added to that group these exclamation points means that this group chooses to approve the photo before they add it to their groups. Now there's one more thing that I want to show you about groups and this is a, important to keep in mind for when you're joining groups. So let me show you what happens when you click one of these groups. As you notice when you click on these groups, it says photo in maximum number of groups for non-pro account. That means that when a group is started in Flickr, there is a default setting that says that all of the photos in that group can only be in a certain number of other groups. For a non-pro account, it can only be in 30 other groups. And for a pro account, it can only be in 60 other groups. But the owner of these groups has the option to opt out of that rule. So they can change that setting so that the photos in their group can be in as many groups as they want. The reason this is important for when you search for groups to put your photos in is because if you go up to where some of the groups where we have um, our photo has been accepted, you notice that a lot of them say this opted out or opted out 3060. That means they've opted out of that rule and they physically went in and changed the setting in their group to allow your photos to be in as many groups as possible. This is a good thing for you as a blogger and you getting your 
photo into as many groups as possible. The more groups that you can join that say this opted out, the more groups your photo will be in. So this is something to look for when you are choosing groups to join in Second Life if you want to put your photos into groups. This is something I didn't know when I first started blogging. And I was like, why is my photo not getting added to all of these groups? And I had to go and ask a friend of mine who is also who also posts a lot of his photos on Flickr. And he's the one who told me that this opted out is very important when you're adding items to groups. All right, so that's basically it about adding your photo to Flickr groups. So now we're gonna move on to posting it in Facebook. So we're here on my Facebook page. All right, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You do, you click photo. All right, so this will add the photo to your page. All right, and then I go back to my template and then I copy all of the information for my f Facebook. All right, and then some people ask you to tag them on Facebook, so if your group or if your store requires somebody to be tagged on Facebook, this is you'll click this little blue person here, and that's how you tag people. And then you just click post, and then your post will come up into your feed. All right, and all the information is here. All right, and people can like this photo, and they can leave a comment if they want, or I could leave a comment for them. Okay, so I've linked my photo, I've placed my photo in Facebook, I've placed my photo on Flickr, and I've, I've put up a, an actual blog post. So now I'm ready to submit my blog post to Blogotext. So we go back to Blogotext up here, and then we can click on the posts tab. All right. If you have a little number one up here, that means that somebody has either approved or approved your um, your latest blog post. So then down here is a list of all the blog posts that I've made. Then they can leave you a little comment or whatever. And this little green check mark means that your blog post has been approved. If there are three dots here, that means it hasn't it's still pending. So like my vacation request is still pending right now. But this is how you submit a new blog post. So there's a drop down menu here and you just click on the item. All the items that you've already submitted are grayed out and then the black ones are the ones that you've pulled from Blogotext but haven't submitted a blog post for yet. So then you just put a check mark next to it. And then you add the URLs for your different places that you posted your blog. All right, so the first one is my actual blog. So I just copy and paste the URL into. All right, the second one, I always do my Flickr. So I go to my Flickr tab and I copy the URL for that. All right, and I paste that. And then the third one is for my Facebook. I copy that and then I paste it. So I have my link to my three URLs. All right, and then you can just leave them a message if there's any information you need to tell them. It's optional, so you don't have to leave anything. I always just put a thank you. And then you submit it. Okay, so then your post goes down into your previous post and there's the three dots because it's pending. I also like to put my Flickr blog into some other Facebook groups. I've joined a bunch of groups, so I click on my groups. Down the left-hand side is a list of all the groups I belong to. All right, so I'll, I'll just do one for example. All right, so here's Spam Second Life. This is a place you can spam Flickr page pictures. Um, some people spam their their sets at clubs. 
it's all kinds of different spam. I just create a public post and I put the link in and then Facebook automatically will put the picture as a link to my Flickr account. All right, and then I just post it. You can also add your Flickr photo to different Discord groups. All right, I'm in the six official Discord group and I am going to share my share my photo on the correct channel. So you just go, go to the correct channel and then put your link in and it'll show your post in that channel. All right, so I can also do that in, I have a bunch of different groups that I belong to that I share my photos. All right, so here's a Flickr group. And this is the Second Life community group. And I just share my photo in there. All right, while I was waiting to um, for everything to res up on my land to film the outro, uh, I got my accepted um, notification in World. So I just wanted to give you, like show you what that looked like. Up in the top corner, if once you're uh, post has been accepted in Blogotex and any notification from Blogotex that you receive it will be in one of these little boxes and it will it basically gives you a note card you can either accept discard or mute the owner obviously you don't want to mute the owner if you do that then you won't receive any notifications from that blogger manager from Blogotex. So I usually just discard these because I have all the information recorded in my Blogotex. There's no need to keep a note card about it. You may want to keep them and just file them away in your inventory, but I just wanted to show you. So it, they give you a note card and it says six and skittish blog accepted. So I know that my blog was accepted. So I'm just going to discard that. So I'm going to go back to my Blogotex and here I have posts. You go to your post tab and then you can see that my um, Betty Lou suit was accepted and then also my vacation request was accepted. So then anyway, that is just what it looks like if your blog has been accepted. If it hasn't been accepted, that it would just give this little green check would be a little red X and then in the comments here they would give you some sort of explanation why it was rejected and give you the option to redo the post to their specifications all right but now that is about it that's about everything I can think of to information wise to give you on becoming a blogger it's a lot of information that's why I split it up into three videos but I hope it was really helpful because I wish I had a video like this to teach me all of these things before I started blogging don't forget to watch the first two parts of this video if you haven't watched them yet and um, I wish you all luck on your blogs if you have created a blog using these videos in the comments down below post your blog use this chat as a, a way of getting your yourself out there as well as I'd love to see your blogs too you can share your Flickr um, pages down below so that more people can come and start following you there too. Feel free to use the chat in any way to advertise your Flickr, your blog, your Facebook, any of that. I'd love to be able to help you out with that. I'm also thinking of starting a Discord channel for the Kendra Project uh, as a way so that I can regularly re communicate with my viewers I think that would be a lot of fun I and then again I would set up on my Kendra project um, discord some channels for you to share your Flickr posts I might put up some places 
that are looking for bloggers. So I might put some blogger jobs up on there. All these things that would be helpful for my viewers. I would love for my um, community to be helpful for all of you. So that's it. I can't believe this is all. This has been a huge project for me trying to put all of this together. And I'm so glad I've completed it. And I hope and I I'm happy with how it turned out. And I hope that it you all find it helpful as well. If you liked this video, please give it a like down below. It really helps out my video and gets my gets my video out there to YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to join me on all of my Second Life adventures. The, it now's a great time to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing a giveaway because I've just recently reached 100 subscribers on my channel. And so I want to thank all of my subscribers by doing a giveaway so you can enter the giveaway. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. Take care all. Bye.